I was raised in Wheeler, Alabama, and growing up uh, in a segregated area where we weren't allowed to uh, walk on the same sidewalk with white people. We had to get off the sidewalk to let them by. Now I'm in Louisville, and uh, I'm thinking now that uh, I'm in a place where we don't have to worry about segregation or whatnot, but I found out that wasn't true. Me and my wife, I decided to take her to the movie. They were on 4th Street. So we go up there to get a ticket. And the lady said, well, you come in up here for, we don't sell niggas tickets. And I felt so bad. So going back down there, we had a little theater there on 13 and Warner Street. And uh, said, go down, that's where y'all go. And it hurt me so bad because this was my wife's birthday and I wanted to kind of give her a nice outing. So that has been kind of the area of where that I changed my attitude towards uh, the white and began to get bitter. And uh, that caused me to want to work in civil rights work. We are in that group that been rejected. Yeah. I've been able to march and protest and to make contact with some of our major companies. We marched on Ford because they didn't have uh, blacks in no hardly no major position. We were talking about how we see cars being uh, trucked out of the company, but no black hauling cars, and yet we were buying cars. So uh, we protested on that for a while, and it wasn't very long before they understood what we were talking about because we buy so many of the Ford product. Satan had built a hate in my heart to watch white people. And uh, we were down there in Montgomery, and I was shared with A.D. King about how I hate. And Dr. King said, don't say that, and don't do that. He said, hate hurts the hater, not who you hate. If you're doing the hate, you're the one that's having problem. Says, you're going to have to love even the fellow who hung your brother. You got to love the person who raped your mother. In my civil rights work, I've had my own people to turn against me. Like, like they did Jesus, so this is just the way life is. But you got to forgive in order to get forgiveness. So now, I don't have no hate for nobody now. Don't care what you say, what you do to me, God moved that hate out of me. And uh, we haven't got there yet, but we now having a better relationship with our white brothers and sisters, with the rich and with the poor. I'm in the city limit of heaven, and I just thank God they have allowed me to live long enough to see us understanding that we all are God's children and that segregation is wrong. Right.